Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are doing Britney Spears, and we're doing Femme Fatale. And we're going to start off with the first track from the album, Till the World Ends. So let's listen to this song. Uh, that was a pretty good song. I would give this song a strong B, B plus. There's just a little bit of stuff in there that I didn't like. I feel like the what uh O's part got a touch repetitive throughout the song. I felt like it could have done just a touch more switch ups in there. But other than that, really good song. I really do like the song a lot. I used to love it when it came out. It's just kind of, um, has not aged too well for me. But uh, it's still a song I listen to regularly, but not as regularly as some other songs. However, I, like I said, I do like the song, but I do give it a, a B-plus song. So, like I said, the Woe's part could have been switched up a little bit more, I feel like. But in that brilliant song, I love how it, the breakdown, it just kind of stops in. It builds it back up into the final chorus. I really do like that a lot as well. Anyway, um, the next... And I also, a side note, I didn't know she... Um, she recorded this song like in like 10, 15 minutes, which is crazy. And for it to turn out that good in like 15 minutes or however long it took her, it's crazy. That's awesome. So the next song we'll be listening to is Hold It Against Me. I love this part. I love this pre chorus. Great downtime. Love this. Show me 
I love this build up too. Another brilliant song, A plus song. So glad this was the single because the video is so crazy and I love it. And I love how she goes, Hey, Zai. I really do like that a lot. Sorry, I won't do that again, I promise. But I really do like how like there's like different little quirks in there and I like the switch ups and the breakdown. Holy shit, that's so freaking good. I love the breakdown so much, it's so freaking good. I've always let this break down, and it gets even longer in the video, which is so cool. I love the video so much, I wish I could react to it, but I don't know how. If you have any suggestions for me how to do videos, let me do them below. Anyway, um, honestly, I'm going to give this an A plus song. It's A plus 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 plus. It's so freaking good. And so the next song we'll be jumping into is Inside Out. Brilliant song. So freaking good. I love the song to death. I I've always loved the song. I always I will always love it. I've always loved it and I always will. It's so damn good. Oh my god, the beat is just so good. And the way she just says come on, the way she just has that power in that song. Oh my god. So freaking good. And I love how it has callbacks from all of her other um, her from Baby One More Time and Crazy. You drive me crazy. Oh my god, this song. I, I've always been obsessed with this song. And it's such a good song on for the gym. It's so freaking good. I'm so pissed this was never a single. I'm still pressed about it. I'm so mad about it. It should have been a single and they should have gone with that. Because damn. So good. Anyway, so um, the next song we'll be listening to is I Wanna Go. I love the whistles in here. They are so freaking good. I love it so much. And the pre-course is amazing.
I love this breakdown. The Alabs. Another good song, A plus song. Again, I really do like the song a lot. The beat is so good, and the breakdown, and the whistles, and just the alibs, and just everything about the song is so good. Once again, I wish I could do the damn video, but again, I don't know how. <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, another A plus song is really good, and I actually like the alibs. You can barely hear it, but if you listen very closely, you can hear it, and I really do like that a lot. Uh, so the next song is called How I Roll. Very bizarre song, but I like it. Another decent song, I'll give this one a B plus. There's it's just got a little too much repetitive with the guy talking, but other than that, really good song. The beat is so freaking weird, but it really works for the song a lot. And I really do like the song and just to clarify, she's saying uh where my posse is at and you keep my you can be my thug tonight. A lot of people got very confused with that when it first came out. So for people who don't who do not know, that's what she's actually saying because she did she does a lot of vocal trickery the past in the um in circus and in this album so just want to let y'all know <laughs> uh so the next song we'll be listening to is drop dead beautiful featuring sabi i really do like this beat
Oh, I like this ending part. <laughs> I really do like this song. Uh, I'm gonna give this a minus just because it did get a touch repetitive in there just a little bit and not enough switch ups as I would like, but there was a decent amount. I saw it just getting a touch more because it got j just a little touch repetitive. I do like the beat, but it's so, the lines in there are so cheesy. <laughs> Whoever said beauty on the inside is a liar. Fasten up your, so, your seat though, it's going to be a bumpy ride. You're seeing like a full pot of vegetables. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, it's just a little bit on the cheese factor, but I do like it, but it wasn't like too cheesy. It's like, it was like just enough. So I really do like this song, so, um, I'll give this a A minus. That's a B plus or A minus. Anyway, it's a good song. So the next song will be Seal It With The Kiss. I like this build up. Okay, so um, this song I'm gonna give a B minus, almost a C, just because at the 22nd mark that annoying beat comes in. I really don't like it, but you start to forget it after a while, so it made the song somewhat bearable. Um, I do like the song a lot, but let me tell you something. There's this remix called "Seal It with a Kiss," and it's I think the Nemes Rock remix. Just look it up on YouTube. It is so freaking good. That one trumps the song. This version on every freaking level is so good. I very much encourage you to check that one out because um, I used to like the song, but that beat just get, just that one little bass line just annoys the crap out of me a little bit. But like I said, after a while it does kind of disappear, so that's why this does get B minus, almost a C. But that remix is like an A plus across the board. So I very much encourage y'all to check that out and. The next song will be Big Fat Bass, Fishing Will I Am. Yeah. 
sharp, use a kick drum, come and get some of the sound and have a prescription. Me and Rick got the whole club tripping. They sit and wait and listen for the kick drum. Vibrate your gut place. Right now, let's get crazy. Here we go, here we go. The bass is getting bigger. It's getting bigger. The bass is getting Uh, this song is a pretty good song. I would give it, I give it a B plus, um, just because it did get like really repetitive at the beginning, but the uh, saving grace is the back half of the song is so much better than the first half. I feel like, but there was a lot of switches happening, which I do appreciate. Um, but overall, decent song. Like I said, B plus. So, um, the next song will be Trouble for Me. Um, so that was Trouble For Me. It was a really, really good song. I really did enjoy that song a lot. Um, I'll give the song a B plus. It was really, really, really good. I really liked it. Um, I like the B. I like um, her voice in it. It was so crazy. I really, 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 really liked it a lot. And uh, so the next song will be Trip To Your Heart. So we'll jump into that next. So the next song is going to be Trip to Your Heart, so let's listen to this awesome song. I love this beat. Yeah. 
such a good song. I really do like the song a lot. It's an A plus song. I just love it's such a it's just a good feeling song. I really do like this a lot. The beat is great. I like how she's singing it. It's so so melodic and just so chill kind of. But also kinda of dancey too. So I don't know, it's kinda of hard to explain that song, but it's so good. So the next song we're gonna be listening to is Gasoline. I'll give this song, hmm, I will give it a B plus slash, I'll give it a strong B. Uh, I do like the B, I do like most of the song, the only thing I don't like is some of the cheesy lyrics, like they're uber cheesy, but uh, some of it works, some of it doesn't, but um, other than that, it was a decent song. Um. I, that's all I really gotta say about that song. Uh, the next song is Criminal. Okay, um, I'll give the song um, an A plus. Because uh, that's because I'm one of the few people that actually kind of like the flute, but I've heard the flute and without the flute um, versions, and I like both versions a lot. Um, I do like the beat a lot. I like how there's a there's switch ups in there, and they're very unexpected. Because um, I think it came in into the second verse. I was like, ooh, that's very good right there. So I do like it. I like the breakdown and uh, the bridge because that was a very long bridge for most songs. Usually it's about like only like 10 seconds, 
This one lasts about 20 to 30, I think. So really impressive job there. And I like her outlets at the end were good as well. So everything about the song is really good. So the next song we're going to be listening to is Up and Down, which I think we're hitting into Best Track Territory, I believe. I don't like the song too. Another really good song. I will get this one. Uh, also, A plus is really, really, really good. Um, the beat's good. I like the breakdown. I like the beat. I just like everything about the song. It's really, really, really good. So it's another A plus song. So we're gonna jump into the next one, and it's called He Is He About to Lose Me. Love the guitar already. Well, I like her voice in here. I really do like her voice in here. It's very in her uh, lower register, which I like. That was a good song. It had the potential to be a su super, super good song. My only issue, and y'all know this issue, for people that have listened to her, that's not her in the chorus at all. It is somebody else singing over her. She can, you can barely hear her in the chorus. You hear this other chick 
And it's really annoying. Like, why the hell can they not do that? I mean, that's just ridiculous. But other than that, it was a really good song. So this gets a downgrade from A plus to a B, just because of that. Because that's just so stupid. I don't know what they were thinking, but whatever. But I do like the guitar. I do like the breakdown. I do like her alibs. The only thing that got me was the chorus, because I was like, uh, uh-uh. no. So anyway, uh, the next song is Selfish. Another really good song. I'm going to give this another A+. Plus. I love the guitar and the chorus. And the breakdown and the bridge, everything on the song is so freaking good. Boom, boom, baby. <laughs> Pick up on my Mercedes. I really do. That's like one of my favorite lines ever. I don't know why. It really is. Anyway, um, so I have nothing bad to say about the song, period. Everything about it is great. Uh, the next song I'll be listening to is Don't Keep Me Waiting. Ugh, motto of my life. Oh, I love the guitar in this too. More rockish. I love this part too. Okay, that was a brilliant song. I love that song. That's an A+. I love the rock feel of it. I love everything about this song. I love how she hits her lower register, then she hits her upper falsetto. I love that so freaking much. It's so good. This is just such a great, great song. So good. So the final song, and the reason why you... So the last song 
that we'll be discussing today is going to be scary. The reason why I even got the song because when I pre-ordered the album, it was available to download after you pre-ordered it when it came out. So you got this as like a bonus track. Bonus track. So let's listen to this awesome, awesome song. If I can get to it. There we go. Another good song. I'll give this one another A. Jesus. Okay. Sorry. Again, another A plus song. I really do like this song a lot. I love, you know, the title is scary and it has like, a bunch of like scary music in there, like a bunch of like Halloweenish type music and effects in there. So I really do like that a lot. And how she's making like scary or, you know, trippy magical references and stuff like Freaky Friday, Jock. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, that type of thing. So I really do like that a lot. I uh, like the beat and everything. So I'll give the song, like I say, a plus. But uh, this album as a whole, uh, I have to give it, hmm, I'll give it a B plus, borderline A. But um, I will say I did like this album as a whole. And I love all the dubstep. In, um, in the song because this was well in this album because she basically brought dubstep to the pop genre she is the one that practically introduced it the, well the first major artist in the US introduced it into the US market I'll say that because um, no other artist before that did dubstep whatsoever in the United States as a major pop art artist so I thought that was really good. She's setting trends at the time. Even um, Scary, that, that was like ahead of its time to where uh, like a couple of years later that song would have been really popular then as well. So I really, really, really do like this album a lot. It was probably one of the, um, my, it was one of my favorites at the time for sure. So like I said, I'll give this a B plus slash A. Um, just a really good album. So that's pretty much what to do it for me. And... If you like this, y'all know what to do. Like, comment down below. What's your favorite song? Did I, uh, did, what do you think of the, um, the songs I didn't like? Do you agree or disagree? What's your favorite song? What's your least favorite song? I'm very interested in that, what y'all think about it. And then just, um, and also comment what you want me to write to next. Because I'm pretty open. So, And then subscribe for more awesome stuff coming up from me. That will be coming up soon. And I'll see y'all in my next video. And I want y'all to have a super awesome day. Bye, everybody.